What's up, everyone? So many of you may have just gotten started with cryptocurrency and purchased your first Bitcoin or Ethereum. But then you've heard around the internet about these smaller coins called altcoins, and you want to get your hands on some too. Um, so if that's you, then Bittrex is the exchange for you because they offer a vast selection of different altcoins, and it's pretty nice to use. Um, but Bittrex can be admittedly confusing. And so if you're one of those people who are confused about how to use Bittrex, keep watching this video because I'm going to teach you how to become an expert in under 5 minutes. Okay, so this is the landing page of Bittrex, as you see. Um, first things first, security. Go to settings, set up two-factor authentication on your phone. This means that people can't log in um, to Bittrex unless they have access to your phone too. This protects you from hackers. Please do it first. The next thing is that you need to fund your account with either Bitcoin or Ethereum. And so what you do is you look at this Bitcoin market or Ethereum market and search for the coins you want. Um, I prefer using Ethereum because it's faster confirmation times, but either works, to be honest. So you type it in and then see if it's available. Like let's say um, Stratus, Ethereum Stratus, see it's available. And so you go up here to wallets and that's what this page looks like. And you go to, you type in Ethereum, click this plus button. This is to deposit. So it gives you this address. This is your Ethereum wallet address on Bittrex. You want to send Ethereum from Coinbase or some other exchange where you bought it to that address. Um, and then after a while, you have to wait, be patient please. It's gonna show up here, pending deposit. And after it's done pending, it's gonna disappear from here and it's gonna show up. Your available balance is gonna show whatever amount you send it to. After that, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, and so Stratus, for example, you can just click here. Um, this isn't Stratus, this is an example, but they'll bring you to this page. This is, this is BTC Stratus, okay? Um, it's uh, traded in a ratio. This may be a little bit confusing at first, but it's a ratio of number of Bitcoins per one Stratus or one Strat token. And so how you buy it and how you sell it is based on this form right here. And so what you do is you put the amount of Bitcoins that you want to do. Let's say you want to only spend 0.5 Bitcoins on this. And the price, last bid and ask. Last is the last price that it was sold at. And bid is... Um, what people are buying it for, what the what the highest buy price, what the highest price that someone is willing to buy it for. Ask is the highest or the lowest price someone's willing to sell it for. So just take a look at this. This is pretty straightforward, but confusing at first, admittedly. So if you're trying to buy it, you can do last, or maybe uh, if you wanted to you can also do um, ask as well, what someone is asking for, one of these tokens, if you're trying to buy it. So it'll show you, and look, it does the math for you. If you do max, um, you press max, but I don't have any Bitcoin right now. Let me, okay, 0 0.5. It does the math for you. Stick with limit. And you can either do good till canceled or immediate and cancel. So what good till cancel means is that it stays on the order book until someone ends up selling it to you. Um, because, you know, the price fluctuates. So you're hoping that the price will fluctuate to a point where it reaches that limit you, you set over here. And then your order will fill and you'll get your tokens. Your open orders will be here. It's going to disappear from here and go into your wallet um, once it fills. 
But if it never fills, it's here, and you can X out to cancel, um, if you so wish. Another thing you can do, though, is immediate or cancel. That means you want to fill it right away. So what you do there is you click buy, and it gives you a form to confirm. Make sure everything's right, and then click confirm. Some like uh, green colored, I believe, pop-ups are going to pop up here really quickly. It's going to be like submitting order, and it's going to say either filled, partially filled, or canceled if the price goes away from what you're asking. Um, and so if you do that, it may partially fill, and then you'll have to refill out this form and edit this amount um, to reflect. Like let's say you only sold like 0.5, then you would change it to 0.35 instead of, uh, let's say you sold 0.15. This would be your new amount, and you would do it again, and you would also have to click this again to like ask again, a new ask price, or a new last price. And so that's pretty much um, it. You also do similar thing for sell stratus for BTC. Um, you can also sell it for Ethereum or sell it for a USD Tether. Um, it's pretty straightforward as, all, as well. And you can view your balance in your wallet afterwards. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. Definitely leave me a question below if you have any questions. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you everyone and see you on the next one.